Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Omni Hall, both with direct modeling tools and items, as well as the mini properties. Okay, so let's get started with direct modeling tools. I'm just gonna click my cylinder here, hold control for proportional, click and drag one out. I'm gonna pop open my mini properties just to make sure that's on zero. And let's look at customizing our Omni Hall. So if I want to use Omni Hall for radius, I'm just going to hover over the far left of these channels here. You can see that icon pop up. And then it's just as easy as clicking with a button you want to use and dragging in the direction you want to use. So for radius, I'm going to use left right on the left mouse button on both X and Z so I can control this property, the radius property. And for the length property, I'm going to go up down like that. So up down on mouse, left right on uh, left mouse, and there's my Omni Hall, simple as that. Now, if I you know, continue to use Moto throughout this session, these will persist. So every time I use a cylinder tool, we will see these. But if I close Moto and reload it, these will no longer be here. This customization will not stick unless I go up here to the presets panel and save default hauling. So if I save this as default hauling, it'll save it to your Moto config file. The next time you load Moto, you're going to get these customizations built in. Now, if I want to clear them out, I can either right click and say clear this hauling assignment and get rid of them that way, like that, or I can just reload the default hauling and it'll clear those out and just load the default hauling. Now let's take a look at an item. So I'm gonna pop over to this scene and we've got some uh, various uh, cones here. And this is a little schematic showing we've got a particle generator making a linear uh, array of particles and then a particle modifier that scales those down by 50%. And there is a linear fall off in there. You see that, that is affecting that scaling. And then there's a grave form, waveform, gradient waveform, not a grave form, piped into the gradient there um, to give us some uh, control over that fall off. And, this waveform has amplitude, frequency, and offset. And, and as you can imagine, like just typing in things like frequency or amplitude is kind of a pain in the butt. And also using these mini sliders is kind of a pain in the butt. The feedback sucks, this little tiny you know slider there. So maybe you want to use Omni Hall. So with amplitude, let's just go up, down with left mouse button, just hold, click and drag, just like you do with the direct modeling tools. Frequency, I'm going to go left, right with left. And offset, I'm going to go middle with left, right. And then I could just have channel hall active here. Go in and drag left, right for frequency, up, down for amplitude, and then middle, left, right for offset. Pretty great, right? And if you wanna save it, go over here, save default hauling for gradient waveform, and that will save it to your config. And the next time you load up Moto, these will exist for the gradient waveform. And if you wanna remove them, just hover over the button. Make sure you hover over the button because if you're not over the button and you right click, you're gonna get different a different set of uh, context menu there. Hover over the button, right click, and then just clear all hauling. And there you go. Press C to drop the channel haul. And there is that. Uh, mini properties are also pretty easy. I'm just gonna control in for a new scene. Um, just you know, control click, get a basic um, cube here. And let's say I want to use mirror. So I'm gonna do shift V for mirror. It's also under uh, duplicate uh, mirror right there on the duplicate tab. And I'm gonna say X and I'm going to click. Okay, so this isn't exactly how I want it to be. So I can pop open mini properties rather than go over here and click around, pop open mini properties and say, okay, I want it to be uh, actually on zero on the center and I wanna invert polygons. Okay, that's sort of what I want, right? I do notice that I'm missing an apply button here in mini properties. Let me pin that actually really quick. So this apply button does not exist in mini properties. Let's say I want that in mini properties because we'll just pretend that was a little bit of an oversight. So, so I'm gonna come up here to the system drop down. I'm gonna open the form editor. And with our form editor, we have this little handy button called find form. So click find form and we're gonna click on the mirror generator form here. And it's going to bring up our mirror generator form, or rather it's gonna find it here in this big long list of stuff. And then I'll be able to see that, for instance, the axis right here and right here, it's exists in both the mini properties and the tool properties over here. And you'll notice there's this little checkbox that says show in mini properties. And if I go down here to the apply button, which is right here, it does not have show in mini properties checked. And so I wanna check that and there it is, just showed up over here in many properties. So I now have the apply button. 
And again, if you want this to save, so the next time you load Moto up, I wanna go over here and say file and config save. Or if you exit, it should save the config, but I always like to make sure I just go in here and save the config. So it's gonna save that setting to Moto's config. And the next time you load Moto, that will be in mini properties. So that's how it works with direct modeling tools. They all have their own forms. Um, all items also have their own tool properties form. So I can go to my camera here and just do the same thing. I could hit space to pop open many properties. I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna go over here to the system. I'm gonna go over to uh, the form editor, find form. Let's click on the camera here and all our camera stuff is here, right? So let's say I want film roll to be in many properties and I'm not sure why it would because it's not a very common thing. Um, part of the challenge with many properties is we really just wanna keep them mini, right? Just have the most commonly uh, adjusted or checked uh, items in there. But let's say you end up, uh, you're one of those people who is always messing around with film roll. Well, if I want that mini properties, I just click it there. I now have film roll in mini properties right there. And then I can come up here and save the config. One of the things you really want to make sure you do is you see these headings here, camera view, sync, projection, depth of field. Uh, those are generally dividers, right? So here we've got um, film roll over here is under film back, right? There's film back and there's film roll. Well, I don't have film back showing in many properties. So film roll just is kind of showing up here. So I want to actually show that film back um, divider in many properties. So now we have film back and film roll. So one of the things you may want to make sure you do is is, is to also click on the dividers and uh, that categorize these things or give them some, some context and show that in many properties as well. But I don't actually want either of these, so I'm just going to uh, take them both off. And there you go. That's how you customize both the Omni Hall and the mini properties. Yum, yum.